Everybody, meteorologist Travis Klineski here on this Tuesday morning, the first day of November. Not bad this morning, a little chill in the air for some, especially here in these areas to the north and west. It's actually a little bit warmer over southeastern areas this morning. And uh, the good news is everybody's going to warm up today here. Lots of sunshine. Winds not too bad this morning. They will turn southerly and pick up this afternoon. You know, I'll play this out again and watch this here. So here's noon. A little bit of a breeze, not too bad yet, but then it kicks in this afternoon. South winds, about 10 to 20 miles per hour, gust to 25, maybe 30 miles per hour in a few spots. The winds will remain breezy tonight. It remains mostly clear until a few clouds roll in later in the night and into tomorrow morning. So it becomes partly cloudy for some, maybe even mostly cloudy tomorrow morning. But with a few extra clouds around plus the winds, it is going to be a mild night ahead of us here for most locations. Now looking ahead to tomorrow itself, another very breezy, in fact I'd call it a windy day on your Wednesday. Some clouds in the morning giving way to more sun in the afternoon. Now depending on how long those clouds last, that could in inhibit the warming just a little bit, but I do expect some warm afternoon temperatures out there. And again, your strongest winds right in here, not quite as bad as you go towards the west, but these winds here are about 281 eastward. We may see some winds maybe uh, sustained. 15 to 25 gusts over 35 miles per hour. So some pretty noticeable winds out there for your Wednesday afternoon. And still breezy tomorrow night, mostly clear much of the night with a few extra clouds coming in towards early Thursday morning. But I also want to point this out right there. That is a cold front. That cold front's going to be important to our Thursday for a couple of reasons. One, it's going to be a much uh, cooler morning off towards the northwest and just a cooler day overall. And it'll still be warm out ahead of that front. Winds will be strong either side of it. But as that front makes its way southeastward, we can't push in that direction here, it could in the afternoon trigger some showers and some thunderstorms. So that will be very interesting to see. We'll talk about that in just a second. But first, with the strong winds these next few days, there is some concern for fire once again. Now tomorrow there is a fire weather watch for southwest portions of Nebraska. That will go from noon, and mountain, that's noon mountain time by the way, until 6 o'clock mountain time. So uh, for those two counties, well for the two counties that are uh, basically in our viewing area that are in this fire weather watch, they're actually in the central time zone. Well that's going to go from 1 p.m. in the afternoon until 7 p.m. in the evening hours here. Then there's that severe weather threat I talked about on Thursday. Storm Prediction Center does have a low end marginal risk of severe storms for about the Tri City south and eastward for Thursday mid to late afternoon and evening hours. And then the fringes of the local four viewing area down here to the south, parts of Smith, Jewell, and Republic County, Kansas, a slight risk of some severe thunderstorms here. So large hail, damage and wind gusts look to be the biggest threat, and the threat does look bigger to the south and to the southeast. Well, looking at temperatures for today, we're going to top out in the mid to upper 70s this afternoon. Uh, record highs are the in the lower 80s, and in fact, right at 80 in Grand Island. So it would be tough to break a record, but Grand Island would have a decent chance. Tomorrow, I think we have a better chance of seeing some records out there as those records are in the upper 70s. Tonight, we'll fall back into the 50s and 40s, colder to the west, warmer to the east, maybe some 30s way out towards the west. And then tomorrow, the warmest day most of us will see this week, mid to upper 70s and some lower 80s. And again, within a degree, uh, this forecast right here is within a degree of record high in, in the Hastings Grand Island area here. So we are going to be quite warm for Wednesday. Excuse me, Wednesday night. Look at those mild temperatures once again, but it's out ahead of a cold front. 50s right in here, but then there's that front and behind it, 30s and quickly dropping back to the or excuse me, 40s and quickly dropping back into the 30s. So it's not going to take much to drop those temperatures behind that front. And we'll see a pretty good range in temperatures out ahead of it. It's going to be a slow moving cold front. So I would expect kind of these areas right in here. Once that front passes through your neighborhood, that temperature will drop off. But out ahead of it, getting into the 70s and then behind it, 60s, 50s and 40s. And again, keep in mind some of these places, your high temperature may happen a little earlier in the day. Let's take a look at the long range forecast here as we are going to be looking at a nice couple of days ahead yet here. More clouds though on wind, on Thursday. Pretty windy conditions tomorrow and again on Thursday as that front passes through. And when that's our best chance of rain and thunderstorms right there for later uh, Thursday afternoon into Thursday night. Some of that will, will linger into Friday morning um, on a much chillier Friday morning on the backside of that system. It'll still be breezy Friday, not as windy as Thursday or Wednesday. Then as we jump into the weekend, temperatures will come up a bit. That Unfortunately, that rain chance for Saturday is looking much lower now. It's really starting to look like everything is shifting to our east, and we may 
completely miss out or almost all, almost completely miss out on moisture chances. And some of that may even come by as early as late Friday night, but more likely into Saturday here. And then Saturday night should be out of here. Sunday, Monday looking dry and a little breezy with temperatures close to 70 or 60 degrees here. Looking at that long range, it looks like following that Sunday, Monday time frame, temperatures may come back down again towards the middle of next week. Let's take a look at some of the long range models real quick here just to see how things will play out again. Pretty quiet these next few days. But then here is Thursday. I'm going to go back to Thursday afternoon. Thunderstorms firing up with that front coming through. Showers, thunderstorms, and look out west. Some snow where it's going to be a little bit colder. Everything clears out Friday morning. Quiet weather for there, but then here's that Saturday chance of rain. And again, right there, southeastern areas still have the best chance of seeing some moisture. Maybe if it's cold enough, a little bit of a mix in there, but mostly rain. And then that lifts to the east, and I'll go with quiet weather for Sunday and Monday for now. And then maybe a frontal boundary coming through on Tuesday, so cooling us back Tuesday into Wednesday. The GFS model is really backing off on that moisture chance for the weekend, but here it'll take this to Friday right there, or Thursday right there. There's that Thursday afternoon, evening shower and thunderstorm chances the cold front passes through. Pretty decent chance of showers late Thursday night into Friday morning, and then that will scoot out Friday afternoon. Look at the snow to the west and to the northwest, but most of us won't see much of anything with snowfall chances here. And then uh, the system clears out, and we won't be seeing much with the backside of that as we look towards Friday night into Saturday. This model keeps it pretty far to the east. Pretty quiet then Sunday, Monday. Maybe a cold front then for Tuesday cooling back a little bit and maybe by the middle of next week another round of some moisture here that'll be interesting to see if we can get a little more from that that's pretty far out yet though so all right i want to thank you all for watching on this um tuesday morning we'll see how things play out later this week but i'm hopeful at least some of us will get some decent rains later on this week well i want to thank you all for watching on this tuesday morning we'll talk to you all tomorrow god bless bye